Hi, everyone. Good morning. Um, we will start at exactly 10 a.m. So for everyone who's, uh, who wants to know about the student pathway, um, you can join on our free webinar for the student pathway. Have a great day, everyone. And we will start at exactly 10 a.m. So you can follow us on our TikTok page, Facebook, and here in Zoom, you can log in for so when uh in Facebook and in uh in Facebook and in Zoom uh, you can see the slide. However, in TikTok currently hindi pa namin na uh, papakita yung slides from the TikTok. However, for our next webinar um makikita na din ng mga viewers from TikTok po yung aming pre webinar for the student pathway. So and uh, we will start at exactly 10 a.m. Everyone, thank you so much. Have a great day. Hi everyone. So good morning everyone. And um good morning sa platform from Facebook, TikTok and Zoom. So we will start our live about the student battery. Hi everyone. So you can join our live. So if you want to know about the student battery going to Canada, uh -huh. um, you can watch our live here in Facebook, uh, TikTok, and Zoom. Hello. Sige. I'll start our presentation about the student pathway. So here in TikTok, pala, uh, hindi nyo makikita yung slide. However, for, if you're watching from Facebook or Zoom, um, that's the time na makikita nyo si... Um, Slides po namin. So, I'll start our presentation about the student pathway. 
So for the student pathway, to give you an idea for all the viewers here, um, uh, that's the fastest pathway going to Canada. So it could uh, maybe the average processing time could take at least one to three months or one to six months, um, depending on your um, requirements. So let me start. So for all the viewers, you can um, ask questions. You can uh, post through our chat box here in TikTok, Facebook, and Zoom. So first, um, to give you an idea, we are registered Canadian immigration firm in British Columbia in Canada. And you can always search Canada Business Registry to know our legitimacy, okay? And of course, our main office, as I mentioned, is in, located in Canada, specifically in 6057 Dumont Road, Nanaimo, British Columbia. But here in the Philippines, our satellite office is located at City Sleep Inn Hotel and Event Center, JP Laurel Highway, Barangay Siko, Lipa City, here in Batangas Po. So for our local viewers, if you're in the Philippines right now, you can always visit our office, as I mentioned, here in Lipa City. So we're open from Monday to Friday. 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. everyone. And of course, after knowing our company, uh, let me introduce our own immigration consultant. His name is Mr. Israel Roman. And his license identification number is R524540. And as I mentioned, he's a licensed immigration consultant registered with the CICC. And as of the moment, he's still a practicing registered nurse in Canada. And of course, um, before he moves to Canada, he used to work as a nursing professor here in the Philippines way back 2008. So yeah, after knowing the background of our company, the our own immigration consultant slash our owner then, um, I hope I provide already the, our, our, the legitimacy of our company. And of course, and flash on your screen from for... Uh, the viewers of Zoom and TikTok, um, of course, you can see it. Uh, we have uh, a currently international student who is taking their co-op at Nanaimo Regional General Hospital as of the moment. And we're hoping one of you, one of our viewers, will be one of our international student pathway in Canada sooner. We're hoping for it. And of course... And I know we have many reasons why we want to choose Canada as our destination. Of course, number one reason is Canada is the home of the world's top academic institution and universities. Number two is you can gain work experience, setting them up for a promising future. I know our goal is to give our family the best future for us, right? And of course, after completing your studies, you can work, work and may be eligible to apply for a permanent residency. And I know that's our main goal, to become a permanent resident in Canada. And ayun, after knowing all the reasons why you need to choose Canada, I hope na one day, um, if not student pathway, um, you will be uh, going to Canada as a worker and uh, become a permanent resident. resident. And of course, in Canada... For the student pathway specifically, we have th three different intakes. The first intake, we have the fall intake and start on September. We have the winter intake starts on January. And we have the summer intake and that's the May intake. Po. So if you want to become an international student in Canada, of course, you need to choose what intake po tayo papasok in Canada. And after knowing the intakes, of course, you need to choose your school and program. After knowing the intake, the first thing is we need to look for a school and program in Canada. And of course, we have a VIP school partners po in Canada. But don't you worry if ever yung school na napili po natin is hindi namin partner, we can still assist you po. Wala naman po magiging problem on that matter po. And of course, the first school is we have the Stenberg College. We have the Georgian College, Fanso College, Coast Mountain College, Niagara College, Durham College, Humber College, Okanagan College, Centennial College, Saskatchewan Polytechnic, Sheridan, and Selkirk College. Po. 
And of course, as I mentioned a while ago, if ever na yung napili po natin school is not our VIP school partner, wala naman po magiging problema. Kasi we can still communicate kung saan mang school kayo uh, or kung saan mang school yung napili nyo going to Canada po. And of course, uh, I know uh, most of the viewers here are already familiar with the IELTS or International English Language Testing System. So, Roman Canadian Immigration Services is proudly, uh, we are proudly partner with 9.09er IELTS Review and Tutorial Center and with the British Council. And as I mentioned a while ago, we are located here at Lipa City, Batangas, and we are the official test center here in Lipa City, Batangas. So, for sa mga viewers namin here in the Philippines na mas malapit kayo here in Batangas and you want to take uh, your exam here in our office, uh, we are open for computer base. We are open from Friday to Sunday. And for the paper base, uh, uh, for the computer base, it's open from Monday to Sunday every day or every every month eh, kung anaman ko yung oh, convenience sa inyo mag-take. But for paper base, we every three months yung schedule niya for it. And of course, after knowing that, uh, for the student pathway, sino nga po ba yung mga eligible? To give you an idea, at least high school graduate or K-12 to graduate lang, you're eligible to apply for the student pathway na po. Of course, it depends on your school requirements. And for the documentary requirements, the first requirements we need is academic IELTS po. But to give you an idea, not all the schools in Canada are requiring you to get an IELTS. However, if your chosen school requires you to get an IELTS, definitely you need to take one. So for the school records naman, if you have TOR, diploma, and if you have training certificate, definitely it's an edge for your application po. And you can uh, put that on your profile po. And um, me uh, and I know most of you are already familiar with the post graduation work permit or the PGWP. If ever naman na hindi tayo familiar with the PGWP, I'll discuss it about to you. So you can apply for a post graduation work permit or the PGWP upon the completion of your course, which enables you to stay in Canada and work for any employer without any restriction. So. It only means that if ever na you will become an international student in Canada and you will take a program, it depends on you if it's one year or two years, um, after completing it, you don't need to go back to your home country immediately. Why? You're allowed to work full-time in Canada po. So as I mentioned, kung gano'ng katagal, it depends on the program or course na you will take in Canada nga po. If ever na you will take a one-year program, the equivalent of working permit is one year. And if you will take a two-year course or two-year program, equivalent of working permit is equivalent to three years po. So the minimum stay in Canada will be five years po. Two years of studying and three years of working po. And after knowing that, I will present to you the process of our company if ever that you will get our service for the student pathway. Of course, number one is we have the free assessment. So for free assessment, we will assess if you're eligible on this on this specific pathway, specifically student pathway. You will send your detailed resume to our email po. And after that, you will choose the school and program. After choosing for the school and program, um, we will proceed with the step three. And the step three will be the program discussion po. So for the program discussion, it's a one-on-one -on -one session between you and me, and I'll be discussing about dun sa napilin yung schools and program po. After that, you will now sign our service agreement. Of course, we have a service agreement in our company. If you already, uh, if you don't have any question with our service agreement, um, you will now settle our administration fee. And after settling that, you will submit the required documents to your chosen school. Of course, uh, sa mga school na napili natin, meron silang required documents sa kailangan natin i-comply po. So definitely, we need to comply it para maka, uh, makapag-enroll tayo on that specific school po. So before proceeding with uh, step 7 and other steps, 
Um, if you have any questions or clarifications po, um, you can type it on our Facebook, on our Zoom, or our TikTok. So I can answer it after my discussion po. So if you have any question po, you can comment it na po. And of course, after the step six, we are we will proceed with the step seven, and that's the issuance of offer letter from the school. What's offer letter? So offer letter from the school, technically, it's indicating your course, your program, what intake, and your tuition fee, and how to settle your tuition fee. Of course, yes po, you need to settle your tuition fee muna sa school na napili nyo before entering sa kanilang uh, campus, of course. And after you settle the tuition fee, to give you an idea, some schools in Canada is requiring you at least you pay the down payment. However, some school din naman is requiring you to pay a whole year tuition fee. So if may question sa inyo na, Sir, paano namin malalaman kung down payment po ba yung babayaran ko or, or whole year payment? So yun nga, we need to communicate muna with the school na napili nyo nga po. And don't you worry, kami naman po yung makikipag-usap dun sa school na napili nyo po. And after that, step 9, that's the issuance of letter of acceptance from the school. After you settle the tuition fee and complying all the documents necessary na kailangan ni school, si school na napili nyo will be giving you the letter of acceptance. It means that uh, you're already um, enrolled or accepted to the university na napili nyo po in Canada po. And of course, and step 10 is the collation of immigration documents. So after the collation of immigration documents, as I mentioned, here in Roman Canadian Immigration Services, you don't need to worry about anything. Uh, we will assist you sa mga forms na kailangan nyo pong i-fill out sa amin. And after that, we will collate it from you. After collating your immigration documents po, um, for the step 11, you will settle our service fee. After settling our last payment, we will now lodge your visa application. And for visa application, we will wait po for the approval of your student pathway in Canada. And if ever na makuha na po natin yung, student, uh, yung visa application natin for the student pathway, uh, 28 days prior sa start ng inyong uh, pagpasok in Canada, uh, you can fly na po in Canada. So, 28 days bago mag-start yung klase, pwede na po tayong lumipad in Canada po. And of course, ayan, flash on your screen. This is our assessment email. So, in TikTok, sige, if a flash din po natin para makita din ng mga viewers natin dito. So, ayan, this is uh, our assessment email. So, that's assessment at romancecis.ca Please do send your detailed resume to us para at least ma-assess namin if you're eligible on that specific pathway. Um, Sir Nick, from TikTok, may IELTS, IELTS po ba? For the IELTS, as I mentioned a while ago, uh, it depends on your school kung nire-require ba nila kayo mag-take ng IELTS. But to give you an idea, not all the schools in Canada is requiring you to get an IELTS naman po. So, ayun po siya. And ayun po, a flash ko lang po ulit pala, sorry. Uh -huh. So, this is our email. So, assessment at romancecis.ca po. So, ayan po yung email namin. Please do send your resume po sa amin. Um, and if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one discussion about, uh, about any pathway, you can book us. Then, se just send your request here at assessment at romancecis.ca din po. So, if nalilito kayo dito sa atin, kasi syempre, yung discussion namin dito is for the as, uh, kalahatan. So, baka malito kayo. So, if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one session para at least mas uh, detailed sa, you can po. And, of course, if you have any question pa, later I'll be giving you some tips on applying for the student pathway. So, ayan. Um, flash ko muna po yung email namin for the viewers of Facebook, Zoom, and uh, TikTok. Na. So, to give you an idea, for the student pathway, the question we always encounter is, Sir, if ever po ba uh, gusto ko mag-student pathway in Canada, pwede ko po bang madala yung family ko? The answer po is yes. However, mas magiging riskier po yung ating application if ever na we will bring our family. Why? 
yung family po kasi natin, it's um, uh, in Canada, and applying for the student pathway, we need to prove na we will go back to our home country after we finish our study. If ever, na you will bring your family, maybe. So this is maybe because eh, uh, depende naman siya sa immigration officer na matatapat sa atin. Kasi uh, if ever nadadali natin si family natin, possible makita nila na hindi ka nababalik on your home country. So possible for denial siya. But as I mentioned, ha, you can bring your family. Wala namang problema doon. However, mas riskier nga lang yung nagiging application niya. So ayun po siya. And ano pa ba yung mga questions na na-encounter natin? If you have a question here on uh, on our live, sige, you can post it through comments. So I'll try to answer it all. So yun naman yung mga na-encounter namin. And sir, magkani, uh, ito pa, uh, how much ba yung possible cost of living in Canada? So the answer there is depending on your location in Canada always. Because if you're located in the city in Canada, so definitely the 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 cost of living there is much higher than the province in Canada. So to give you an idea, for example, in Ontario, if ever you will become an international student in Ontario, the possible cost of apartments done will be at one thousand to one thousand two hundred in a month. So bukod pa yung ating internet. Yung ating other bills, our transportation, so yun po. So possible, mag-ready po kayo ng 1,500 Canadian dollar every month. So, question from uh, from Karen, Uda. So, magkano po magagastos nag-apply in student visa sa inyo? Sa amin po, um, our service fee is 1,000 Canadian dollar po for the student pathway po. Any question po po from here, here in TikTok? And to give you an idea, ito, um, here in Romania and Associates Immigration Services, not just the student pathway yung uh, pinaprocess namin. We are processing uh, any type of uh, visa going to Canada. So if you want to to migrate in Canada or if you want to become a tourist in Canada, if you want to visit your family member, we can still assist you. Po. But of course, as I mentioned, the fastest pathway going to Canada will be the student pathway. Pa rin. Uh, actually, not only in Canada, in uh, any other country na you want to become a student, yun talaga, uh, student pathway talaga yung pinakamabilis na pathway po talaga. Any question pa po from our viewers po? So, Ma'am Karen, lahat na po ba yun sa inyo plus the application for the school? So, for the school fee, kung ang ibig po sabihin is the administration fee sa school, so uh, sa inyo na po yun for the school administration. Pero technically, administration fee sa school, probably 150 CAD to 300 CAD. Yun na po yung max. Hi po, strict po ba ang IO sa Canada? If papasok ang student sa country nila, ano po ina-ask nila? Hello ma'am, Carol. So actually, in Canada naman, um, if ever na you will become an uh, international student, of course, you have all the necessary documents pa lang on your home country. So, kumpleto ka na. 
Oh, uh, ipapresent mo lang naman 'yon and uh, yung mga questions siguro nila once na nandoon ka na um tatanungin nila yung uh, kung ano yung program mo, ano yung uh, ilang years yung ite-take mo, mga ganun lang pero you have all the necessary documents na. So you don't need to worry naman na po. Kasi yun nga, for example, nasa Philippines ka or kung nasang country ka man, if ever um kumpleto ka naman ng document. So kumbaga may supporting documents ka naman diyan. So, uh, pag nandun ka naman na, uh, pa-present mo lang yung mga documents na kailangan mo, ma'am, and wala naman na silang um, masasabi dun dahil, well, document, documented naman ikaw. Any question pa po? So, I'll stay here at least uh, 10.30 if you don't have any questions. Okay, we will end our live na doon. So, ayun. Um, next live namin will be on 24. I think it's on Monday. or I, I, oh, Sige, uh, we will post it na lang on our Facebook pala yung um, specific time and date nung aming next webinar po. And of course, yan, you can follow us on our Facebook page. We are Roman Canadian Immigration Services. In TikTok, yan, sa mga viewers namin dito, please follow us para at least uh, meron kaming any updates on our company. Uh, malalaman nyo din po. And ayun, any updates kung saan man. Uh, basta going to Canada, we can help you po. Any pathway going to Canada. So in... In YouTube, we're active as Roman and in Associates Immigration Services Limited. In Instagram, RCIS underscore 2019. And in LinkedIn, we're also active. We are Roman and Associates Immigration Services Limited. So, yeah. Any question pa po here in TikTok? Please do follow us para at least updated po kayo sa mga happenings and uh, if mga events namin here in our company. Para if ever na you'll be interested in kung ano mang pathway po yan, we can help you po. And you can always check the legitimacy of our company. Posted naman dito sa mga videos namin sa TikTok on how to search our our immigration consultant. So yun, uh, you can do it or you can search on your own or Do it your own muna. And, yeah. Mm-hmm. Any question pa po? If we don't have, um, we will end our live na din. Ma'am Carol, uh, pwede po ba lumipad sa Canada yung mga two months bago ang pasukan? Um, I mean, ma'am, we advise yung ano, yung nakalagay sa immigration. Actually, ang nakalagay kasi sa immigration is 28 days before mag-start yung klase. That's the time. It's the safest time na pwede ka na lumipad in Canada. So, sa amin, we follow pa rin naman yun kung ano yung nakalagay sa website nila. Para at least walang maging problema on our stay there in Canada. So, yun. 28 days before mag-start yung klase mo, ayun, safest time siya para lumipad in Canada po. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am, Kero. Please follow us para at least if ever na may live ulit kami.
So, ayan. I think, ayan, sir, ano po, job vacancy nyo. Uh, for Norman Selimin. Sir, ito, uh, send na lang kayo ng, um, ng resume nyo sa amin para mapakita namin sa inyo kung ano nga ba yung mga possible job opportunities namin based on your credential, of course. Sige po, ayan po, assessment at romancecis.ca po. Please do send your updated resume po sa amin and if ever na your um you're eligible on that specific pathway or job vacancy, I'll be calling you po. Ayan. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sir Norman. Please do send po ngayon din kasi after this, I'll be checking our emails po. And kayo din, ma'am, if ever, ma'am Carol, you can send your resume din po sa amin. And so we will end our live na this and yan please do send your resume nga po sa amin. Ayan, saan ba kayo naka-base? So naka-base kami dito, hindi niyo naabutan yung previous live ko. We're based here at Lipa City, Batangas po, sir. If you if malapit kayo sa Batangas, definitely you can walk in from our office from Monday to Friday. 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, from I I my fly today pay later po. Actually, ma'am, hindi kami na cater ng ganon services, ma'am. So if ever na you want to become a student pathway in Canada, of course, um, you will need to settle your tuition fee, your proof of funds, and everything po. Um, Sir Norm, Norman, naka-base po kami dito sa Lipa City, Batangas. Uh, Lipa City, Batangas po. If familiar po kayo. And as I mentioned, you can walk in from our office from Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. po. Ayan, so um, thank you so much everyone for tuning in on our free webinar for the Student Pathway. And I hope to see you again for our next webinar po. And I hope na one of you, one of our viewers will become an international student in Canada po. And I'm hoping na ayan, mag-success po tayo sa lahat, sa lahat ng careers po natin, lalo-lalo na if ever they will be flying to Canada po. So have a great day everyone and thank you so much po. On behalf of Roman Canadian Immigration Services, thank you everyone.